Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to discuss the second plant poison which is Calotropis procera. In my previous video, I have discussed about Eberus precatorius. So I'll be discussing about types. There are two types of Calotropis procera plant species. Then there, uh, I'll be discussing active principle, signs and symptoms, fatal dose and treatment, post-mortem findings and medico-legal aspects. So guys, uh, before starting with this, please I would like to say to subscribe my channel and like this video and comment if you have any problem. Okay, so let's start. First introduction, this plant Calotropis procera is also known as rubber bush. This is native to countries like India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Indonesia, Malaysia, Sri Lanka, Nepal and tropical Africa. So as I told, there are two plant species. One is Calotropis procera and other is Calotropis gigantia. So Calotropis uh, procera, the flower of this plant is white in color. Whereas Calotropis gigantia, the flowers are purple in color. So that's how you can identify. So here you can see the purple color flower. Uh, this plant is Calotropis, this plant species is Calotropis gigantia. Whereas the white flowers is Calotropis procera. Now talking about the active principles, they are there are five main active principles: uh, Ushkarin, Calotropin, Calotoxin, Calactin, and Gigantin. So question can be asked in UGC NET exam that these active principles belong to which plant? So you need to remember this. Next comes the sign and symptoms of Calotropis procera poisoning first when it is applied to the skin basically it becomes red in color with formation of blisters so we can see blisters redness and vesication when calotropis procera juice is applied to the skin now when it is taken orally then uh, it act as a gi tract poison basically the juice of Calotropis procera is is it have it has a uh, bitter acrid taste and when uh, someone takes it orally there is burning sensation in throat and stomach and there's problem in salivation the person may have symptoms of stomatitis uh, vomiting may occur diarrhea the pupils will get dilated there will be convulsions collapse the person might collapse and it may lead to death all right uh, and also when it is uh, instilled into the eyes if the calotropis procera juice goes into the eyes somehow then it can produce conjunctivitis which may also result into permanent impairment of vision of that person next comes fatal period and treatment basically the fatal period is between 6 to 12 hours Whereas the uh, fatal dose is uncertain. It depends on the person. Now if we talk about the treatment, then treatment will include stomach wash uh, or gastric lavage can be done uh, with the help of warm water. Then we can give demulcents for inflammation relief and obviously we must do symptomatic treatments treatment that is given according to the symptoms that the person is having also morphine is given in some cases in order to relieve pain next we can talk about the post-mortem findings what all post-mortem findings uh, we see if a person is suffering from if a person have undergone uh, calotropis procera poisoning so the pupil of the person will be dilated and we can see that there will be froth coming out from the nostrils or the nose of the person. Then there can be stomatitis, acute inflammation can be seen in the gastrointestinal tract with, ulcer, with ulcers or uh, patches of ulcers can be seen in the stomach. Then the viscera and the brain are congested in the post-mortem findings then medical legal aspects so basically uh, the all the parts of calotropis procera plants they are used in 
in the uh, use for making indian medicines like for example the flowers are digestive stimulants the powdered root is used as an emetic and the milky juice that comes out whenever an incision is made then that milky juice is used as a vesicant and for the treatment of chronic uh, skin conditions now uh, the juice of the plant may also be taken orally or applied as an uh, on an uh, abortion stick in order to procure abortion so the plant is also used as an abortifacient then uh, it can also be mixed with milk for infanticide and uh, it is rarely used for suicidal or homicidal purposes now uh, it can also be used as a cattle poison by mixing it with the powder of the cattle or uh, inserting a cloth that is mixed with, that is having the juice on its surface and then inserting it into the rectum of an animal so it can be used as a cattle uh, cattle poison in this way then this can also be used to make artificial bruises on the skin and it is also used as an arrow poison arrow poison poison and uh, this basically plant the roots of this plant calotropis procera they are highly poisonous to cobra and uh, uh, some of the snakes some of the poisonous snakes cannot even uh, bear the smell of the roots and uh, hence the snake charmers they use these uh, this plant the roots of these plant uh, in order to control the snake the cobra basically so this was all about calotropis procera poisoning if you have any problem then please uh, comment down and i will see the message and uh, i'll reply accordingly if you like the video then please subscribe to my channel and like this video and share it with your friends also Thank